Tyler Brule is a globe-trotting entrepreneur and a style guru who seems to have the Midas touch. He's editor-in-chief of Monocle magazine, founder of an advertising and branding agency called Wink Creative, and a weekend columnist for the Financial Times. But his, business, his, big, his biggest success is building a new way of gathering and selling information to the world. I'm pleased to have you with us. Welcome. Good morning. Here it is, Monocle. Yeah. Um, so you what need is the newer it? issue. Yeah, you stole the new oh, issue. You've got it over there. That's the new one. There it is. So what is it you know, and what is it you want us to understand about the world you see? I, I, we, we want uh, journalists to, to be out there more. Uh, we want to go back to uh, good old-fashioned uh, news gathering. Uh, yeah. we, we believe in having bureaus. Uh, we don't think that it's, people should just parachute in and out. I think you need to spend time in a market and a region to understand mm. it. Uh, and um, and we believe in we believe in paper and ink yeah, still. Indeed. But it's a wide perspective that concerns you too. I mean, it's not. It is style, and it is fashion, and it is politics, and it is design. It is all those things that are sort of part of the mosaic of of the 21st century. Yeah, we think that there is an intersection between you know a, a political policy which is taken and the type of bridge that a city builds, and whether it's going to implode on itself at some point. Um, you know, uh, if, if someone has a strong cultural agenda in a nation, you know, how is that going to to drive politics? So mm -hmm. the magazine is divided into A, B, C, D, E uh, affairs. Now that's not affairs of uh, of, of celebrities in Hollywood because we don't do celebrities, um, so it's it's political affairs, business, culture, design, um, and then a consumer section in the back. But Tyler, you know, some people say it's very hoity and toity, that it's very highbrow. For instance, uh, fifty things to improve your life. One of the suggestions is a private island. The Why other not? one, I, I agree with uh, the, the, this one. I agree with number seventeen, a balcony. Mm. So to the people that say, well, it's not for me, it's for mm. the affluent and the very rich. What do you say? I say it's just, it, it's smart, um, and mm -hmm. we really want to look people in, in the eye. We don't want to talk down to people. Um, and it's international. Uh, yes. We're headquartered in London, uh, and we're speaking to people in Osaka as much as Auckland, uh, as much as in San Diego. You know, I was talking to a 22-year-old editor at O Magazine yesterday, and she said to me, because I, I mentioned you were coming, Tyler Brule, she said, I love that magazine because it's a cultural how-to guide that you can learn a lot and that even if you think it's not relatable to you, it's aspirational. Is that part of your thinking, too, to make it aspirational? See, so she's looking for a job. <laughs> yes. um, her name is Kirsten. You okay. cannot have her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that, you know, there's, there, there are several things that, that, that we're trying to do. But it's interesting that, uh, that she referenced that it's, that it's aspirational. And, I, and I, we do want people to aim high. We want them to explore and see the world. Uh, and a lot of what we do, it's, it's, it's focus is on opportunity. We want to show people where there are opportunities exactly. in the world. So, yes. you, know, we, you know, we did a big story. We were in Accra. So, of course... Yes, we know that there's you know there's a boom happening in Ghana, but you know how do you how do you navigate Ghana as a business person? Yeah. Right. So to, to to deliver a concise briefing. And what's yeah. interesting in the U.S. market, where people are so down on print right now, we're, this is our fastest growing market in the world. Wow. Because I think as so many news organizations and magazines have cut back on international in this mm -hmm. country, mm -hmm. there are still hundreds of thousands of Americans, you know, every week who have to get on a plane around the world yes. to do business. We're more yes. and more connected globally, and all of us in the 21st century understand that. I mean, the whole world, you look at it as, as, as one world of a growth market. The interesting thing about me, about your magazine <laughs> for me, yeah. is the idea of, as you just suggested, focusing on entrepreneurship. Not sort of the big established people, mm. but the people who are creating new ways to do things, look at things, mm. build things. Yeah, absolutely. We... We launched in 2007. Uh, we all know what happened uh, by the time we got to the start well, of the 2008. The economy wasn't so great. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, we really saw the bottom fall out of most major economies around the world. And what was interesting, we had you know bankers who were with you know Citibank or you know, with major financial institutions who were laid off. And we thought, well, if these people are, are sitting at home right now, maybe we should point them to, again, opportunities. Right. Right. You know, you, you've always dreamt about owning your own microbrewery. Mm -hmm. uh, so go off and do it. And so, but, you know, to, to actually, to inspire people, it means, you know, you have to go to New Zealand to look at someone who did a good job. You have to go to Cincinnati. Um, and you have to go up to, to north of Toronto to find all of those interesting stories. And, and again, I think, as you were saying, Charlie, you know, it is a globalized world. And, and best practice is sometimes not in our, our own backyard. I want, I want to hear about you, Tyler, because this is the first time I've ever gone into the green room to see what the guy was wearing, because I wanted to see, what is Tyler Brule going to have on today? You I wore a tie for you today. No, so. you, look, you look very nice. But one of the leads to you, we said that you dodge sniper bullets, that you mm. were a combat reporter. How do you go from that? What were you doing to that, to mm. creating this? I, I started, uh, like all good Canadian boys, uh, <laughs> in journalism. Um, I wanted to... Um, 
I was I was always fascinated by Mr. Jennings and and mm -hmm. thought that you know someday that I would. Uh, yeah, maybe be sitting at a table like this reading the news. Uh, it didn't quite go that way. I did end up working for ABC in London, and uh, and after a while was a little bit disillusioned with television. Went, you know, started doing print. Was at, was working as a freelancer. Went to Afghanistan in '94. So the Russians had pulled out. Pulled out. It was pre-Taliban, um, and we had the misfortune of um, with our photographer and our driver and our guide. We were we were ambushed in the center mm -hmm. of Kabul. I was shot twice. Mm -hmm. uh, lost the use of my left hand and spent a long time in hospital thinking what do I want to do next and uh, there was this notion of maybe do, doing a magazine to improve the way you live. We're out of time. Sorry. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, Tyler Brew, the magazine's called Monocle.